Good morning and salam ibu pertiwiku. The currently unstable development of the global economy will not stop Sarawak from moving forward. According to Chief Minister Datuk Pandiga Bang Zohari Tungabang Haji Openg, this is a good time to inject a more capital expenditure for development purposes. He explained by raising the infrastructure spending, the services that are required can also be improved. In other words, uh, you inject your expenditure in the public sector, that will definitely spill over to the private sector. Number one is the construction of all these infrastructure projects that needs material. And this means that the supply and demand of materials will be there. And of course, they will be able to employ people, technicians as well as engineers in all this infrastructure project. He was speaking at the 13th Association of Malay Importers and Traders of Motor Vehicles Malaysia, Pekama, anniversary dinner at Kuching. The infrastructure development will not only focus on the construction sector, but will also involve the agriculture and tourism sectors. This will at once be able to provide economic returns for Sarawak. According to an official press statement, July 30 will be marked as a public holiday as Sarawak will observe the King's coronation. The Sarawak Government Gazette dated July 17, 2019 says that the state government will observe July 30, 2019 as a public holiday in conjunction with the coronation of the 16th Young Diputan Agong Al-Sultan Abdullah Riayatuddin Al-Mustafa Bila Shah. The federal government announced this additional public holiday weeks ago. Chief Minister Datuk Panigia Bang Zohari Tun Openg has said on July 6 that Sarawak would follow suit and declare July 30 as a public holiday in conjunction with the coronation. Liar Assemblyman Gerald Rentap Jabu said a 10 million ringgit mosque will be built in Betong under the Sarawak government. He said the mosque would incorporate modern designs and decorations of Malay ethnic parents and other ethnic groups which symbolize the close racial unity in the Betong division. He said this at the Thanksgiving and groundbreaking ceremony of the proposed construction and completion of land work for Betong Division Mosque. In addition, he hopes the construction will be completed in March 2020. Well, that's all the updates for now. I'm Razi Ahmad. Thank you for watching.